All right, what's up, everyone? Um, here, I'm here today to do an unboxing of Modern Warfare 2 Prestige Edition. Now, I haven't even looked at it yet. It's still in the bag, as you can tell. But, all right, let's get to the unboxing. All right, in the, in the Prestige Edition, it comes with um, some night vision goggles and, uh, and like, the hardened edition of the regular game. Um... So there it is right there. It also came with this. I got it at GameStop. They threw this in extra, I guess, for getting out on the first day or something. I don't know. But some gamer picks, a code to get some gamer picks, and a TGI Friday thing, which I'm not going to use. I'll do the gamer pick thing, though. All right, let's get rid of the bag. All right, now here it is. There's the night vision goggles. And. There's the hardened edition of the game. Let's open it. Right. Um, turn this around so I can see it. Uh, all right. So let's slip the game out first, since. There it is. Alright. Get that to the side a second. Um, so here's the game. The hardened edition. I don't know how well y'all can see this. Hopefully you can see it fine. Um, it has wrap on it. Alright, so here it is. Right here. Here's the art book for the for Modern Warfare. Oh, slippery. <laughs> Couldn't open it. Right. Hopefully y'all can see this. Alright, I'm not gonna go through all of that. A nice little light art book to put on your coffee table or something. Ah, dang, that went in way too far. <laughs> Alright. Now, here's the game. There's a case. Nice, uh, tin case. Certain packages. Comes with that. There's a, um, f a code to download uh, Call of Duty Classic for free. I think this only comes in the Hardened and uh, Prestige Edition. I don't know if it comes in the regular. I don't think it does. So there's the game and there's the manual. Um, set that to the side and let's get to the the real thing why I bought this. The Prestige Edition. The NVGs. Night Vision Goggles. Dang, look at those things. Wow. Nice, it's plastic, like I figured it would be. It wouldn't be metal, it would be way too much. I'll get to those in a second, and let's get to the third box. Which, the third box is the, oh, there's a little bit of tape right here. Which is a, um, like the skull thing, the little head that you can put the NVGs on for a display. Like, So here's the stand for the head. I'm gonna go ahead and put this together in a second and then show y'all as well as unbox it. Here's a alright. Uh so I'm gonna pause it and then come back and with everything together. Alright, what's up everyone? I'm back and I have the the little stand together to hold the NVGs. There's a little Infinity Ward logo right there. <coughs> little dude with a mohawk. It's kind of weird that his chin goes into the into the base of the stand. Kind of looks a little strange. And the bottom is like kind of a cheap kind of plastic, I guess. But yeah, 
that's him. And then get to the main the main attraction. Here's the NVGs. I've already tested them out since it's dark now. I went to another room where all the lights were out and they work perfectly. They're awesome. Put the batteries in. It's a <coughs> it doesn't come with batteries, which kinda sucks. Because you paid $150 for this thing and it doesn't even come with little cheap batteries. But um pick some batteries up. It takes five double A's. It came with this little handy screwdriver. Came in handy taking taking the little screwdriver out right there. <laughs> Thought that was kinda cool. Um but there's the back right there. Um there's I don't know how well you can see these switches, but that right there is how you turn them on. Hopefully I'm getting this in the camera. That right there is how you turn them on. And then this switch right here goes, ch uh, changes it to like a green mode like you see in all the games and uh, movies and stuff. But then put it back and like it's just white and black, black and white, whatever. And then this switch over here just makes everything brighter and makes you be able to see further. Um, and the only thing that actually lights up is, I don't know if you can see it since it's light right now is there's about what was that seven there's seven dots around there that just uh, are red and that's only when it's on brighter on the brighter view but um yeah they're really they actually work I wasn't I wasn't exactly sure if they would work but I've already tried putting them on this thing too um this this dude has a really small head compared to like regular humans um, I mean, it might, nah, he does have a little small head, never mind. Um, but that's what it looks like on the stand. I don't know how well y'all can see that. And it doesn't really fit his head too well. Um, when they're on your head, they feel, um, they're alright. There's a little pressure on, I didn't, uh, really adjust the straps that much. There is a little pressure, and then there's a, which I didn't see until now, there's a couple, uh, like, I guess these are focus things, I don't know what they are, I haven't tested them yet, but, um, they're little, like, scroll wheels on the, on the lens up here, and back here, which I don't know what they do, I just saw those, and, um, they, re they feel really sturdy, let me take them back off his head, they're really sturdy, and, they're not going to break that easily. Um, but yeah. These things are awesome. Um, one thing that I did notice once I was wearing them, especially walking through doorways, is that it's kind of hard to see because I didn't really think about this before. It's not this one's fault. It's probably like this on the military uh, grade NVGs too. Um, but there's no peripheral vision. <laughs> <laughs> I did not even think about that because you're seeing out of this. You're seeing out a little box at the end of the at the end of the uh, night vision goggles, and so it's kind of it's kind of weird. You'd have to get used to that, <clears throat> especially if you're like a soldier or something. I'm sure they've bumped into more than one doorway trying to walk through. But um, all right, that was the unboxing of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Prestige Edition. And I will catch y'all later. Probably, I'll I'll have a review of this up about in a week or so. But I'll catch y'all later. Peace.